Signore Falletto is our home and has been home to my ancestor for many generations. My wife Elena and I are doing the best to keep and enrich my family heritage. We look forward to the future, trying to make uh, the best wines uh, that are the true expression of the Langa Terroir. There is no special recipe. The main ingredients are the love and the respect for the land that kindly hosts us. Hello guys, we're here in Cassione Falletto at Vietti Winery with Luca and Elena. Thank you for having us. Ciao! Ciao, benvenuti, welcome! Benvenuti, Grazie. welcome! Let's go see what you guys have. Who are Elena and Luca? Well, uh, we are a couple, first of all. No. <laughs> we are married since uh, 27 years and we are uh, running uh, Vietti Winery, we are the fifth generation of Vietti Winery, uh, trying to manage all this beautiful heritage. Uh, so, we, between uh, love and fight sometimes, because uh, oh, being, be, yeah. being a couple, couple is normal, <laughs> but uh, I mean. Yeah, we know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> what does Vietti mean to you? Uh, Vietti is my family. <laughs> Uh, the, the winery comes from my mother's side, Vietti, and uh, well, Vietti is my life because uh, I grew up uh, in these vineyards, uh, I, I know every row of our vineyards, uh, I was playing with my dog, uh, with, uh, with, with friends, uh, with the balls sometimes, uh, and so uh, it's, uh, it's my playground, let's say. <laughs> Uh, this might sound like a philosophical question, maybe it is. <laughs> what is wine? Why do you make wine? <laughs> uh, I make wine because uh, I love wine. I think uh, before uh, to make uh, wine, uh, I'm a wine lover and uh, on every aspect. And I learn every day drinking different wine from all around the world. And uh, I do not have any preconcept. I like uh, everything. And so it's my passion. And this is the reason why I make wine. Uh, how would you describe your wines? Oh, good question. But, um, there are many aspects uh, for sure, but uh, to me probably the balance, the respect of the terroir, because we are so lucky to have so many great MGA and so uh, the, the respect of the terroir that comes out uh, in each of our bottles, um, and the elegance. I always okay. find uh, this uh, you know, nice elegance, uh, great elegance in all, uh, in all the wines. And if you have to pick uh, a bottle of uh, hmm. Vietti wine? Oh, good. This is another good question. <laughs> hey, it's, not, it's not simple actually because uh, there are so, you know, so, so many... It's like to pick uh, the, the, your best uh, child, how you can, okay. it's difficult, no? So, uh, from the Barbera to the Barolo, and the Arnais, uh, everything is uh, special for uh, some particular occasion. But if we have to stay in the word Barolo, if we have to, to say, okay, which yeah. Barolo, probably the one, that, eh, actually the Lazzarito the is the one, is even if historically the Rocche for, for Vietti is, uh, was the very first uh, single vineyard Barolo that uh, we made. Uh, I have a, a huge uh, love for the Lazzarito. Because of its... Uh, it's Sarah Lunga and it's uh, kind of, uh, you know, powerful, very well structured uh, Barolo with big shoulder, but uh, always beautiful uh, minerality, so I like uh, always very much. Uh, and Barbera is also another great uh, choice. Cheers! <laughs> What 
what is your winemaking approach? Haha, <laughs> well, beautiful question. Uh, less is better. Uh, I think uh, we have uh, lucky to handle and to have a fantastic uh, single vineyard crew, MGA, and uh, with incredible, fantastic bio difference. And so I think uh, we need to be humble and not to put uh, too much of ourselves, uh, our taste into the wine, but let uh, the terroir to express uh, himself uh, in the best way. So less is better. What is your farming approach uh, in the vineyard? But we are, uh, since uh, ever, <laughs> let's say, organic, uh, biological. Uh, so uh, as you can see in all the rows, uh, we, we do not use herbicides, pesticides, and we leave the grass uh, uh, that nourish the uh, terroir, the land. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we live here, we work here, <laughs> we, we eat the berries and we drink yeah. the wine, so we have to, you of course, to be land. exactly very respectful or, of what we have in our hands, of course. What does sustainability mean to you? Well, sustainability is very important because, it's, uh, first of all, should be a style of life. Uh, should not only be some marketing tools. Uh, sustainability goes uh, from uh, to be organic, biological, as Elena said, but sometimes also using uh, pragmatism, be pragmatic, because not to be, uh, you know, to, to marry the one direction and uh, stay there, but follow also what uh, the seasonality is mm -hmm. it, uh, and uh, trying to respect uh, with different act uh, what the mother, mother nature gave to us. Yeah. This is a beautiful place. Yeah, this it's is like a, being in the past. Yeah, you, Where are you, we? you brief the history here because this yeah. is a, one of the really oldest parts of the winery. Uh, is actually the medieval part uh, that we, you know, we kept as it was with the original wood beans. Wow. Uh, and here we are, you know, going uh, uh, towards tunnels. <laughs> okay. So Luca, uh, you took me into this, uh, in the, into the most secret tunnel of the winery? Yeah, this is a place uh, where we don't go every day. <laughs> it's a okay. very secret place. Uh, it's a tunnel underground for uh, 60, 70 meters. Okay. Uh, that uh, actually was going directly uh, in the well of the castle. It was a secret way to escape uh, from the castle outside of the medieval wall of the town. Wow. So it uh, was built uh, probably in the 1100 or something like that. Wow. So this is the um, obviously the past of uh, of the winery. Maybe we should talk about the future. Ah, well, you know, talking about the future in a tunnel of the 1100. Uh, it's not is, bad. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, but I think uh, mm, you know we are very lucky because uh, having so many different Grand Cru vineyards uh, uh, and uh, being uh, also uh, one of the winers that we trust so much in the earliest time, in the early 1900 of single vineyard Cru and the terroir, uh, we have a very bright future, I think so. Uh, it's very important for us uh, to keep uh, and uh, continue to respect uh, our different vineyards mm -hmm. and also hoping that success of uh, Barolo and Langa and all this tourism that uh, is, is here uh, will uh, keep and maintain everything uh, intact uh, as uh, is today. Yeah, a mindful growth. Of, sí. uh, of the little area. by little. Yeah. <laughs> little like by that. little. <laughs> un poco a la volta. Un poco a la volta, un poco a la volta. <laughs> project that uh, was born back in 1971. This is uh, the very first uh, example of the Etichetta d'Autore. Uh, 71, imagine uh, our, the, all the labels at that time. 
So basically, you know, very classic uh, mm -hmm. with the name of the winery, name of the wine, uh, black and white. Uh, so there was no colorful labels on the on the bottle. So this uh, group of friends with uh, my parents-in-law, they decided to uh, really to dress mm -hmm. the Barolo bottle okay. or a special bottle with uh, an original piece of art made specifically by a different artist. So okay. this is uh, something that we carry on uh, since uh, 50 years and that we will continue for sure, for hopefully for Forever. Yeah, forever. <laughs> yes. That's great. Uh, do you have a favorite uh, label? Uh, probably the first one for sure. This is uh, also very particular because uh, it's a nude and this uh, when uh, came out, uh, like for example, scandal. like a scandal, especially in the US. So we couldn't sell this one. Uh, oh, you couldn't sell no, it? No, 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 because, because it was not approved. Label? Yes. Wow. <laughs> and this is uh, the first one, uh, it's a, a special one. Uh, what is the, what's the connection between winemaking and art? Ah, great question. Uh, yeah, I don't want to feel too arrogant, but I think uh, in some way uh, being an artisan of wine uh, is like an expression of art. Uh, because you have to interpret it, uh, different vintages, different terroir, uh, like we said before, respect them. Uh, so I think uh, the connection uh, when the wine is made in artisanal way, with passion, with the stomach, and not too much with the brain, uh, is an uh, expression exactly. of art. Which is what we look for uh, for our wine club selection. Remember that when you're drinking a wine that is made with heart and passion, there's always a person behind it, and there's a, so many stories to tell. So it's what we it's what we love about, about okay. wine. Cavo, otro okay. Yeah. <laughs> Guys so much. Yeah. Thank you. It's been a great day. There you go. Welcome. 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 Our great pleasure. <laughs> Our pleasure. It's been fun. <laughs> uh, so maybe let uh, them know uh, where they can uh, find you online. But on Instagram, okay. Yeti underscore Winery. And uh, of course in Castiglione Falletto if they come, come to here. visit us. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great day. Grazie mille. Thank, Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you for your Grazie time. Thank you. Grazie and ciao to everybody. Ciao a tutti. See you in the next one. Ciao. Ciao.